Hello everybody, Damien here, and welcome back to Dark Souls. Now, let's uh, figure out what all these Force Guardians are about. So this guy's got the Battle Axe, he's got the... That, the Spider Shield. Essentially, he looks like the Wanderer, more or less. But this is the character I'm interested in. I've heard all about you. I'm Shiva of the East. Captain of the Brigade. Let's teach you the clan basics now, as there's no time to chat in the midst of fighting. Except there is little in the form of rules you hear. Fight and hunt as you like. Whoever's fastest gets the prey. That's the way we do it. Only don't forget what Arvina said. Traitors aren't given a second chance any reason. That's about it then. Don't worry. It's a good old time, isn't it? Great to have you with us. Good hunting to you. So, and if you try to attack this guy because you like his gear or whatever and you want it, you want it for yourself, he's got a bodyguard hiding in the shadows back here. Ninja type. I believe he's got the Ayato the target shield and the shadow garb armor is what it looks like to me. So he'll jump out and he will beat the crap out of you if you try to fight this guy and they will team up on you and they will kill you. And then there's this guy, I think he's a mage. But yeah. So those are the guardians, and right now I can walk around them without any problem, whereas normally they would be trying to kick the crap out of me. Oh, there's the mage. The other one's a thief or something, and then here's... See, I killed this guy last time, if you remember. Him and the archer. I killed him and the archer. I don't know where the archer is right now. But, yeah. So those are the guardians. If you attack them while you're part of this covenant, you will screw yourself over pretty good. Now, there's the door leading to where I want to go. But I'm not gonna go through that door because you need the crust of Artorias to open that door. There's another door that will take you to the same place essentially. Oh crap, there's trees in here. The trees are not part of the covenant. You can kill them at will because they'll do the same to you. Oh, I can kill them with two normal swipes. Well, what am I wasting my time for? Alright, so... Ah, oh crap. Where am I here? There's a door that I want to find. What's that over there? I have no idea. Okay, there's a door that I want to find, and I have no idea where it is right now. So this is where the Eastern Armor was. So as you can see, we've gone for a circle. I could have gone either way to go through there. I have to get through the cats to join the covenant, but I wanted to kill that archer before I joined the covenant. That way I could get the bow, the black bow of Ferris. It's a good item. It's a good bow with lots of range. I can't remember where the hell I want to go now. There's a way to get to a door. It's got to be back towards the castle there. It's got to be. Or the tower, or whatever it is. So where am I now? This is them. I'm a little bit lost here. Okay, this is where the gate is. Okay. So that's the gate. That's not where I want to go. Thinking of. There's a bridge somewhere. <clears throat> this leads back to where I came from. I know that I'm not crazy. I know there's a bridge somewhere. 
around here leading to a big sparkling door. And that's where I want to go. Here, what do you mean here? Is that someone playing online with people and trying to tell them where to go? Where's this door? Why can't I find it? There's a bridge, but it's not the bridge that I'm thinking. Is that it over there? No, that can't be it. Where am I? Why can't I find it? I apologize, everyone. This is not going as planned. Jesus, these trees! Why can't I just cut them down? Oh, shit, that was close. That scared the crap out of me. Okay, where is the gate that I'm thinking of? I know that I'm not crazy. stone bridge and a giant sparkling lit up gate and that's where I want to go ah I can't seem to find it I apologize guys this is taking too long if it takes any longer I'm not gonna be able to do what I wanted to do in this episode Back here, the, this gate. But you need the crest of Artorias to open this one. And I don't have it. And it's 20,000 souls. And I don't want to spend that. This is starting to bug me a lot. I know. There's supposed to be a gate somewhere over here. Unless it's on the other side of the tower. There's the assassin class. He's a bugger. He's got the bandit knife, the target shield. Actually, I think he's exactly equipped the same way that the hollow assassins are equipped in, uh, in the... Uh, right, right where the capper demon is? Pretty sure. Where's that gate? Okay, I'm gonna go back this way. It might be on the other side here. I might be losing it. Alright, so if I come down here. Come on. I can't even walk in this game anymore. There should be. Holy crap. Where is it? I know it's here somewhere. This way? There's a bridge that leads to a gate. Not that bridge. That's where we came from. That means it should be on this side. What's that glowing over there? Is that the sparkling gate? That's the sparkling gate. There it is. See, I'm not crazy. I just forgot where the hell it was. And it's over here. It's easy to get lost in this forest, that's for damn sure. So, here it is. How much time have I got left? I've got time. A very interesting and also sad boss fight in here. Oh, I don't have a lot left for healing. Oh well, at least I get to show it to you even if I die. Okay. 
Okay, so this great big open area is great big and open for a reason. Now there's a giant great sword stuck in the ground there. I believe that's the great sword of Artorias. And there's many other swords here symbolizing graves. And if you walk to the back without approaching the front of the grave, you'll find a nifty item here. The Hornet Ring, which increases the damage of all critical attacks. I believe for some weapons it even changes the animation for a critical attack, like a backstab or a parry. But then after you grab that item, it's all you're going to find in here. You want to approach the sword. Someone just died over there. Now we got a very interesting enemy. This is Sith. And he's a badass. He will hit you for a lot of damage. But you can block his attacks. And you can do a fair amount of damage to him. Make sure you got lots of... Don't let him hit you with that spinning attack. It's probably his strongest attack. Ooh, he just missed me with it. So yeah, just... Oh! You know, yeah, that almost drained my stamina completely. Oh, shit. Oh, that's not good. I don't have any healing. That was close. That jumping spinning attack is also very strong. But... Ah, uh, shit. Yeah, he's... He's fast, and he can close distance quickly, so... Make sure that you have... A ton of stamina. And you're good with a melee weapon, and you have a powerful melee weapon before fighting him. If you expect for magic or archery, it's not going to work against him. Oh, crap! I didn't have enough stamina. See? You want to have tons of stamina for this. He's a, probably going to kill me. I don't even have him down to half yet. I keep fucking up. Stop jumping around like a tired. Shit. Ah, oh, no. Shit. I gotta take it real careful here. Any mistakes. Double swing, and that's my opportunity to attack. Ooh. Okay, there we go. I got him. Covenant of Artorias. You need that ring to traverse the abyss and fight the four kings. You also get humanity, a homeward bone, and the soul of Sif, as well as 40,000 souls. So, yeah, and I'm like... So close to dead, so I'm going to use a Homeward Bone. Those were the reasons why I wanted to do that. Now, I think in the next video, I'm not going to quite go fight the Four Kings yet. I want to show you that Shiva guy as a merchant. Would be pretty cool. I'll level up as well. Endurance. Yes, please. And do I have any soul items? I do. I can level up again. I'm just gonna take this stuff out of my inventory. I don't need it. Um, I can level up again. Strength, I think, I'm gonna go for. 
up to 20. If I get my strength up to 24, I could start using the Gravelord Greatsword. I really like that weapon, especially for PvP, because it inflicts toxin damage. So that's a really good one. But for now, I'm going to end this video, and it's pretty much right on schedule. So, uh, I'm going to show you Shiva the Merchant, who ends up in Blighttown next, plus Siegmeyer will also be in Blighttown. So we're going to visit there again, and I'll show you what you can do down there. And while we're down there, maybe I'll go into the Great Hollow, which I avoided before. And maybe we'll go down and fight the other serpent before I fight the four kings. It would probably be easier. So, yeah. Thank you all for watching. This is Damien signing out. I will see you all later.